What's going on Cougar fans and welcome to another week's edition of CUC Men's Soccer Weekly. Once again, I'm joined by assistant soccer coach Maz Shiraz Khan. Maz, thank you for coming on again this week. Thank you, Parker. Thank you for having me. So let's go ahead and rewind the clock a little bit. As I mentioned in last week's interview, this is the final month of regular season play for the Cougars. The team dropped their homecoming game last Sunday against St. Norbert College. And this was a game in which the team really struggled to find any offensive rhythm. What were your takeaways? What was your perspective on how the team performed offensively? Um, yeah, so I feel like, like there's a lot that goes on in soccer than what happens in the 90 minutes on the field. So the team's just going through some fatigue and uh, we had a couple of suspensions. A couple of players were out due to their fitness and like Elias was out because he wasn't fit to play. So the team was really thin for the St. Norbert game. We thought we felt good that we can do good in that game. But due to the injuries and uh, Spencer was uh, suspended. So we didn't really have all the players back and all the weapons that we needed to push up. I thought we were good in some parts of the game, but we overall we struggled to create more. Um, I guess it was a learning curve for us and definitely I think the boys got something out of it. We had more positives to take from the game than what the scoreline showed. So overall, it wasn't that bad as it looked. And let's talk about a team that the Cougars played more recently last night, traveled to Marion University. Road wins are, are tough to come by in this league. It was a 0-0 game at halftime, but the Cougars conceded three goals in the second half. And what went wrong defensively for the Cougars? Yeah, um, I think it was more about we started the half pretty good, the game pretty good. Uh, we come out strong. We were really good. Uh, the players struggled in the second half. I think that was also more because of the fatigue, uh, how we were going into the second half with not a lot of subs. Um, I think most of the guys played 90 minutes out. Uh, the plan was to try to capitalize on their mistakes. Obviously, um, they had some problems in their defense as well. We tried to capitalize on them. But then I think that's what we, I mentioned last week as well. We sometimes switch off and don't try to fight. Um, and it's just minutes. It's, it takes a second to just lose the ball, lose the concentration, and it just leads to a goal. That's what happened for the first goal and the second goal. And I think that really brought the morale down of the boys. Um, but yet again, it was a learning curve. Um, I think we can definitely take a lot of positives out of the game. I think um, Evan had a good game. Um, it was nice to see Joseph back in goal. He had a really solid game. The scoreline doesn't really show that, but I think um, there were some positives in the game as well for us. We just need to learn to fight till the last whistle. And that's been a, a big focal point mm -hmm. on the broadcast. I know that the Cougars really don't have a lot of depth, so it's tough when a lot of those guys are having to play 90 minutes. But the team will be back on the road Saturday at Milwaukee School of Engineering, and right now MSOE is playing like one of the better teams in the conference. What's the plan of attack going into Saturday? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good challenge playing MSOE after um, a 3-0 loss, I'd say. Um, MSOE is definitely one of the better teams in the conference. They are good. They were good last year as well when we played them. Um, I think we, it's, it's about making our plans and sticking to the, what the coach wants and how we want to play. I think the guys understand how we want the team to play and how we want to move forward as men's soccer, as um, how Concordia wants to play. I think um, we can definitely build on that. Um, there are some challenges, obviously, with the numbers we have, with how fatigued the players are, uh, and with playing back-to-back -back games in such close quarters. But I think we can definitely build up on that. Uh, MSU is going to be a challenge, but we just need to come out positive, play hard, and. I think the Cougars do stand a chance this week. And, and one thing I, I do commend those guys, they, they play their hearts out every week. And that's something that I've enjoyed watching. Go ahead. That is very true. A um, couple of guys on the team, you see them play the 90 week in, week out, twice a week. But they're always there for the training, for the games. Um, Joseph's definitely leading from the front. So I think it's nice to see those guys lead up. and. I think it's been tough for the guys um, physically and mentally playing that many minutes in, in the season and not having a lot of results. But I think it shows a lot of character and we talk about trusting the process and building the team on not just for this year but as we go forward as uh, the coach takes this team forward. 
So I think it's um, all in all, these are all positive results one way or another. And yeah, I, I, I think the team will do good. Well, Maz, thank you for coming on today and best of luck on Saturday at MSOE. Thank you so much, Margaret. Make sure to check out the Cougars as they travel to MSOE. Kickoff is set for 3.30 p.m. and coverage can be found at our athletics website at cucougars.com. But I'm Parker Kelly signing off and we'll see you next week on Men's Soccer Weekly. Go Cougars!